am Satyam with our biology is part 2. The topic of biology is first chapter is biology, the science of life. It has been categorized into living beings and non-living beings. We have studied more characteristics of non-living beings. Now there are more three characters of non-living beings that are left in the chapter. So let's start. Living beings, they can move on their own. Non-living beings, they cannot move. They need external force for movement. Yes. Why do living beings need external force? The thing we will understand is this. There is a major difference between two terms named locomotion and movement. Not from 
affected by the plants and it grows into a seedling when it is when it is uh, in the root. It, if it is dispersed and it is in the root, then it, it will grow into a seedling. So, and some plants are uh, some more plants are there that grow from stems or roots or leaves. There are examples also. I am telling you that from roots there are examples uh, like sweet potato. It grows from adventitious adventitious roots. Adventitious roots. You will study about adventitious roots in high classes. And one more is the uh, for stems, onion and potato. They grow from stems. And for leaves, uh, bryophyllum. Bryophyllum is the plant that that, um, uh -huh, that grows from leaves. There is a leaf and at its edge it grows like this way, this way, this way. Our next topic is they have a definite life cycle and they don't have a life cycle. Living beings have a definite life cycle. Life cycle is started from the birth and it continues and it follows birth, then we grows our growth and then reprodu reproduce reproduction. So and aging and then death. So between birth and between between birth and death, this period of time is known as lifespan. So we follow from birth, growth, reproduction, and reproduce, and then aging, and then death. We understood the lifespan. Lifespan is the period of time between birth and death. Okay? Non-living beings do not have a life cycle. Okay? Our 